Hey guys, let's talk about something a little bit different today. I'd like to talk to you guys about my top 10 favorite games. Starting out with number 10, let's talk about Disgaea for the PS2. A tactical RPG that is set in the netherworld with your protagonist Laharl and Etna. You meet a cast of quirky characters and go all over the netherworld in fun, unique locations, as well as creating your own team through their um, birth and reincarnation system. You're strengthening them up, and uh, it's just a whole lot of fun. If you haven't played it, you need to play it. If you like tactical RPGs, this is one of the best. For number nine, though, we have Shimigami Tensei 3 Nocturne. This was a fantastic game if you like turn-based RPGs and Pokemon style games. This one has you go around this uh, Tokyo which has been destroyed and you are going to talk with certain characters to model how the rebirth of Tokyo will be. Uh, along the way you're going to talk demons into joining your team and then you're going to uh, well, you're going to rebuild the world. Um, it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of grinding, uh, a lot of backtracking, but at the same time, you just can't beat the visual story and uniqueness of this title. For number eight, we have a classic, Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Now I know this game's been remade and put on other systems, but I'm talking about the original Super Nintendo release. This game was awesome. Time travel, monsters, a unique world, well, worlds and all these different characters that felt unique. It was a fantastic game with a great battle system, great story, and definitely one that you you should not miss. If you haven't played it, definitely pick it up when you get a chance. For number seven, we've got another classic here, Suikoden 2, which I probably pronounced way wrong for the PlayStation 1. This game was great. If you liked turn-based RPGs with a unique twist and uh, liked going around doing a ton of different quests, including recruitment, this game is great for you. It's got a base building mechanic while you go out and collect all these different individuals that upgrade it and upgrade your gear along the way. Uh, the story was great. Just when you think you beat the game, it turns around and throws you a twist and gives you a whole bunch more to do. This game was fantastic and too bad it's so hard to find and when you do find it, it's so expensive. But it is for a good reason because it's fantastic. Uh, so going to is definitely one you don't want to miss if you're an RPG gamer. So I'm going to have to make this a multi-part video. There's just no way getting around it. So tell me in the comments below what your top bottom, uh, top, your bottom four favorite games are and uh, follow along, share and uh, like this video and I'll see you in the next one.